Exercises, Danny Shear here with Shear OC Detailing. Uh, shop's a mess, but that's not what the video's about. The video today is about what size pressure hose should you use. So, we've got this 3 8 hose that's really nice. It's got, uh, well, it's wire braided. And I've got this cheaper quarter inch hose. So, I mounted them both on the wall last week because I have an electric and a gas washer. I utilize both to save gas and have quieter and also just if I need less volume of water and less pressure. Now I'm trying to see if I can just sell this one and use this one for both. Because uh, I also have another 50 foot extender for if I need something big. So it'd be really nice to be able to cut that down. Let's do some testing and see if you lose any flow, how much, if you go to 3 8 because this is a pretty big hose for a pretty small. This is rated 1750 PSI, 1 1.6 GPM. Now, if you don't know this, GPM changes, especially on electrics, between these three. I mean, it could be uh, 1.2 here, 1.3 here, 1.6 here. Just depends. So we're going to find out. How are we going to find out? With a bucket and a stopwatch. All right, so here's what we're doing first. We got 3 8 hose, white tip, electric pressure washer. So we got three and a half minutes on three eighths hose, white tip. That's a whole nother minute. All right, here we've got white tip and the quarter inch hose. Yellow tip, quarter inch hose, four and a half. All right guys, so what did that little experiment teach me? Well, on the big 3 8 inch hose, this thing's wire braided. I had 50 feet from my electric pressure washer to my gun. On the white tip, that's 40 degrees, it took three minutes, 26 seconds to fill five gallons. Basically, three and a half minutes. On the yellow tip, it took four minutes, 25 seconds. Now, a lot of people don't know that uh, the the flow rate on these are different. Now you can have an electric pressure washer that's 2300 PSI and 2.3 GPM, but once you go to look at the specs, you'll see 2.3 GPMs at 100 PSI, AKA the thing's off. Uh, you can piss harder than 1.2 GPM, and then uh, you go to look at, the, at what it is at 2300 PSI, and it's 1.2 gallons a minute. Well, that's about useless for us washing cars. I mean, it's very, very low end. You don't want 1.2 gallons a minute if you can help it. Uh, back to what I was saying. On the small, tiny, quarter-inch hose, on the quarter, the white 40 degree took 327, so the same, and the yellow took 427. So again, within a second on my little not very perfect test. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to sell my quarter-inch hose the reel and all, I mean it works great, it was cheap and I've used it for a while, but 50 bucks I don't need it anymore. I can use the 3 8 for everything. Again, I only use this electric one when I've got a light car or just, you know, a small job. Because the electric thing costs me 20 bucks. Now my $400 gas pressure washer, uh, that gets a lot of use on mud cars, washing my driveway, uh, other people's driveways and houses and, and my garage floor. So now that I have the 3 8 inch hose, um, you know, I'm good to go. I can just use it on both of them. So plus when I get a nice or electric pressure washer, like say two gallons a minute, like a Crumzola or something like that, 
you know, I'm sure that'll run fine on this one as well, even better. So I hope that helps you out because there's a lot of, you know, things out there saying, because it's logically, it makes sense. This has a lot more surface area. It's a way bigger opening. But, hey, it looks like about the same. So, uh, again, when I was, when I was pu pulling it, I couldn't feel a difference about pressure, PSI, uh, on resistance. So, really, go ahead.